when I got to Columbia, I had jumped significantly less than anybody that was recruited out of my recruiting class. And I think I was ranked number two in the high school for that. And so my whole mindset when I got to Columbia was just, you know, I'm just gonna see how far this can get me. And then when I was at Columbia, you know, becoming like top three in the NCAA and all that stuff, I was like, okay, there's something here. So my whole mindset had always been, let me just give it a little bit more time because I think I was a late bloomer compared to like most of the girls that I was jumping with, at least in college, right? And so when I graduated, 2016 was more so just like, okay, let me just give it a year. I mean, honestly, if I had it my way, I would have given it four years after I graduated to try to go to the Olympics. But I was like, it's the following year, why not? Um, I don't think I was so bent on qualifying. I, I think it became real once I jumped a major personal best and realized how close I was. And so when that happened, I was like, okay, 2020, I'm definitely going to try because if I'm this close a year after graduation, I imagine what's gonna happen in four years. So it was more so like after that year, I felt more motivated to give it my all. And so that 2016, I didn't go to the Olympics, but then the following year, I, I qualified for world championship. And then that's kind of where everything set in motion to me to really pursue it, you know, on a, on a serious level. What do I look forward to most? You know what? I feel like if you asked me this question in 2016, I would have a completely different answer. Um, once again, I think I've, I'm a completely different athlete now than I was four years ago. And I've realized that this whole experience this whole journey has been more than just being the best. Um, and I think my college self, my self in 2016 would tell you like, I'm looking forward to competing. I wanna get a PR, I wanna get a personal best and you know, do all those things. But I think more than anything, I think over the last like two, three years, I my purpose and why I'm doing this has become more and more clear to me. And what I'm actually looking forward to is really just experiencing it. That's it. <laughs> like, it sounds so basic, but I am in a sport where I've done track and field, I mean, seriously, for like 10 plus years, right? And it's a sport where every time you compete, you're disappointed because the way it works is you, you, you perform your personal best, and then you spend the rest of the time trying to beat that personal best. Most of the time you don't. And so it almost has this toxic nature to it where you're constantly trying to beat yourself. And if you don't beat yourself, you're disappointed in everything. And I think one of the clarity, the, one of, the, the, one of the, 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 the things that became very clear to me was that, right? That toxic nature of it and realizing that I've done this for 10 years and there's only been like four moments that I was proud of myself, <laughs> which is crazy, <laughs> you know? And so really, I think for me, what I'm really looking forward to is, is, is realizing that I made it here and this, my purpose is bigger than that, right? It's bigger than just competing. It's, it's so much more. And it would be a, dis a disservice to myself to limit th my, that purpose to just go into the Olympics to compete. Um, there's so much more than that.